A warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Agoncha. President Muhammad Buhari has received a report of the Presidential Advisory Committee for the Elimination of Drug Abuse. The Advisory Committee is saddled with the responsibility of working towards reducing the level of drug abuse in Nigeria. Now, according to that group, over 14 million people in the country are actively abusing drugs. The Economics and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, says it is considering rehabilitating internet fraud stars. Ibrahim Magu, acting chairman of the agency, announced this in Lagos on Thursday. He said internet fraud stars can be useful to the agency in the future, adding that they will be rehabilitated. The Nigerian government says it has committed uh, 10 billion naira to remove 10.2 million out of school children from streets in the next five years. Minister of Education Adamu Adamu said this during the unveiling of education sector short and medium term blueprints and work plan on the implementation of education for change, a ministerial strategic plan document in Abuja. The, doc the government says it hopes to achieve the target by enrolling 2 million children yearly in the next five years. The Senate Committee on Public Accounts says it will investigate alleged overspending by the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, from 2001 to 2019. Now, this is coming hours after a similar directive was given by President Muhammad Buhari, but unlike the President's holistic probe, the Senate says it is interested in only some areas of expenditure of the NDDC. The three chairs of government shared the sum of 693.529 billion naira as revenue for the month of September. According to a statement on Thursday, the money comprises revenue from value added tax, exchange gain, and growth statutory revenue. The federal government received a sum of 293.8 billion naira, while states got 186.8 billion naira, and local government councils shared 140.8 billion naira. Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta has refused to approve the country's 2019 and 2020 June July uh, July to June budget over a cap on commercial lending rate. Now the move is the latest in the running dispute over the rate cap, which the government and banking officials say is debilitating the economy. Now, in 2016, the government limited rate banks uh, can charge customers to 4% uh, percentage points above the central bank's benchmark, which is currently 9%, saying they are concerned about high rates. And Barcelona, as well as Real Madrid or Clásico, which is Spain's biggest football league match, has been postponed. The Spanish Football Federation, which announced the development, says the event was moved. Uh, due to the ongoing Catalonia protest, the original fixture was due to take place at Barca's Camp Nou on October 26. And as the latest from the newsroom, many thanks for watching. Bye for now.